This video is for midwives and healthcare assistants who will be collecting samples for life study participants. This video shows how to collect a vaginal swab. Before you collect the sample, please check whether the woman has consented to give bio samples and check she is happy to give a vaginal swab. The vaginal swab can be collected during labour by the woman herself after she has been given the appropriate instructions. Alternatively, the woman may prefer her midwife to collect the sample, which can be done during labour before a vaginal examination. Please make sure that you have all the equipment ready before you start. All the equipment needed for sample collection can be found in the vaginal swab collection kit. Please refer to the life study folder for the location of the kit. Each kit contains a swab, a collection tube, a cup for the collection tube, a Ziploc plastic bag, an instruction sheet. Before handing the kit to the woman for self-collection, or before collecting the sample if done by her midwife, you should print the woman's life study sticker and place it on the specimen collection tube. The sticker should be printed as close to the time of sample collection as possible. Please watch the separate labelling video which shows how to do this. For women collecting their own sample, how to collect the sample is explained in the information leaflet in the pack. Remove the lid from the collection tube and place the tube upright in the cup provided. Place the cap upside down on a flat surface. Note that there is liquid in the tube, so be careful not to spill it. Remove the swab from the wrapper, handle end first. Be careful not to touch the tip of the swab. Opening the labia first, insert the swab two inches into the vagina. Be careful not to touch the swab on any other surface. Rotate the swab several times. Remove the swab from the vagina, again being careful not to touch the tip of the swab. Place the swab into the liquid in the collection tube. Gently break the swab at the red line by bending the handle until it snaps. Replace the cap firmly and gently swirl the collection tube several times. Ensure that the sample stays in the upright position by placing the tube into the cup provided. If the woman is self-collecting the sample, she should give her collected sample to her midwife. The midwife should place the sample into the life study fridge. Use the tube rack provided to keep the sample in an upright position. The midwife or healthcare assistant should record whether a sample was given using the checklist kept in the woman's notes. If a sample was not given, please ensure that a reason, for example, consent declined, is provided. Finally, the logbook and the label ward sluice room should be completed. For further information on sample collection process, please contact the Life Study Research Midwives.